Hey, thank you for joining me for another 3D video in Blender. Today we're going to be modeling an alien which will be one of the enemies for our space exploration model set. This video will hopefully give you an idea of how you can model some pretty complicated things with very few tools. So let's just go ahead and open up a brand new Blender session and we'll get started. So my idea is to make a three-eyed snail type uh, creature with a rocky craggy shell to be the alien for our game. Snails are already pretty crazy looking, so I think it'll make a really good base for the model that we want to make. So what we're going to do is start off by using the default cube, and I actually think I'm going to cut it in half and then mirror it just so it copies the movements that we do to each side. And then what we're going to do is actually extrude out some shapes to create one profile, and then what we'll do is add some loop cuts to then refine the form of the main body. Okay, so this is a little bit rough right now, and we might end up refining it down the road, but I kind of want to see what it looks like with all the parts together. So like I said, we want three eyes for our snail, and we're going to do that by extruding out some faces. We're going to be uh, moving them into place, adding some spheres on the end, and then blending it together to make it look like it's all one flowing body. I think that's pretty good for now, so we're going to move on to the mouth parts of the alien. These are going to end up looking pretty similar to the eyes, so we're going to use similar techniques, but instead we're going to actually import the objects that we want to manipulate. And we really only need to create one, and then we can duplicate and mirror them. Okay, so finally I want to add the shell to this snail, and I want to make it really rock-like and craggy and sharp to really make it look like an alien. And I'm going to be doing that by adding a cylinder and adding some edge loops and manipulating those vertices and edges, kind of like I did for the mineable resource video. Thank you. 
All right, that didn't turn out too bad. Pretty simple, so let's just go ahead and give it some color. Alright, finally done. I'm actually pretty happy with the way that this turned out. I actually found a couple of pictures on Pinterest of actual, like, concept art for monster snails, so that was really cool to look at. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any requests for future videos or any questions at all, please leave that down in a comment. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, just so I know that you're liking the video so far. And also, please share this video with any of your friends who want to get into 3D design. Again, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I hope you have an awesome day and I'll see you in the next video.